we believe there's a huge digital divide because of cost. In India, while there are 900 million mobile phone users, there are only 48 million active internet users. That disparity, 48 million versus 900 million, is primarily because of cost. We believe that if you can deliver computing and internet devices within the price range of a mobile phone, the opportunity is there to break the digital divide. We believe that technology, internet, computing devices can help empower the masses. The intent is to empower the masses through education and that's the, the purpose behind these products. It was unimaginable. Look, industry analysts were forecasting the market for these kind of devices mm -hmm. in India in 2012 at 2.5 lakh, 250,000 units. That's what people expected was the total market. We disagreed with that because we felt our product isn't a traditional tablet. Uh, it will be a low-cost computing device for people. It will be people's first computer. So we expected the market to be a lot bigger and we thought that the market wouldn't be 250,000. We thought the market would be maybe a million units a year and we thought that out of a million units maybe we could do 10%, 100,000 units. But subsequent to this launch, the level of response we've been getting has been overwhelming. So we've gone from the hope that we could do maybe 100,000 units in the Indian market in 2012 to the expectation that we should be able to place between 5 to 6 million units in the Indian market in 2012. So unimaginable response which shows that the biggest barrier to computing and internet adoption today is price. In fact, the target audience, to me, was everybody that can't afford computers. And the range is very wide. You think of the call center worker in a tier B, tier C city that maybe has a 10,000 rupee salary. In a 10,000 rupee salary, they can't afford computers and they can't afford broadband access. For that customer, we believe that a 3,000 rupee device makes a lot of sense. You know, at 10,000 rupee salary, if the person spends 6,000 rupees on food, he cannot spend 20, 30,000 rupees for a computer. He cannot spend 1,500 rupees a month for internet access. But it's not just that. Go to the other extreme. Think of the rickshawala. You know, the rickshawala doesn't aspire for his kids to become rickshawalas. The rickshawala aspires, saves money to be able to educate his kids. Even that is a prospective customer if he can believe that these kinds of products can help improve the quality of education that the children receive. So we believe that the market for these kind of products is very, very broad based. Mm -hmm. The initial implementation that the government is doing is for college university students, yeah. but we think the implementation can be very broad based. Mm -hmm. Well, there are a number of factors, yeah. right? Um, and all of them come together it's like the perfect storm uh, that allowed this to happen. The first is that we've created a technology on which we've received 18 US patents and a, a variety of international patents that shift the burden of memory and processing power from the client device to backend servers. So it allows us to create products with much lower cost hardware, uh, with much lower cost memory and processing power while delivering a rich user experience. That's one element. The other element is we have 20 to 23 years of manufacturing experience, the whole variety of consumer electronic products. As a result of that, we are more vertically integrated and more specialized in designing for low cost than the average manufacturer. The average manufacturer doesn't, develop, doesn't design for the customers we're designing for. The level of vertical integration we have allows us to squeeze the margin out of the component module suppliers in these devices, and that allows a lower cost device. Then there's a third element. Our business model is unique. The traditional hardware manufacturer makes money only on the hardware. They, buy, they create a device, they sell to a consumer, and that's the only money they make from that device. We not only make money on the hardware, but we have a relationship with network operators where we make revenue from the network operator, we make money from content and apps, and we make money from advertising. So we create a whole ecosystem of recurring revenue streams on the device 
in addition to the hardware margin. So we're not limited to the hardware margin. We, we also take advantage of those other elements, which allows us to keep a lower hardware margin than would traditionally be available. So today we are over 2 million individual and user pre-bookings for the device. Unfortunately, we're not geared up. We've gone from a potential or a hope of doing 100,000 units in the Indian market to an expectation of doing 5 or 6 million units in the Indian market in 2012. So you can't be pre-geared up for it, but we are gearing up for it. Um, we have one manufacturing relationship in Hyderabad. We're setting up a second manufacturing relationship in Hyderabad. We're setting a third one in Cochin and fourth one in Noida. So through multiples of manufacturing relationships, we hope to have built up enough capacity to supply the market demand. So we create low-cost hardware. Mm -hmm. We use the hardware as a customer acquisition tool. We make money on the hardware. We also make money on network access, content and services. Mm -hmm. And that whole ecosystem is important to us, uh, not just the hardware. I, I, I believe strongly that it can. I, I believe that the Akash and UV Slate devices that we yeah. create will be brands mm -hmm. uh, that will have a strong position in the market. Today, there is no other computing internet device in the mm -hmm. same price point, mm -hmm. and we don't see one in the, in the horizon, uh, at least for the next few months. It, it depends on the user. So l let me explain something. The commercial version of the product, which will be the UV Slate 7 Plus, will have Cortex A8 700 MHz processor, which will give it better processing speed. I don't think the 256 megahertz, um, sorry, megabytes hmm. of RAM is necessarily a negative. It is sufficient RAM. The original iPad was 256 megabytes of RAM. So, so you know, one can't necessarily say that that's an issue. Now, the device is intended for three key things. First. It's intended for mobile web access. On India's GPRS networks, it will deliver a better mobile web experience than any device, including the iPad. Second, it's intended for multimedia experience. It delivers a very good quality HD video experience. And then third, the Android apps, word processing, spreadsheets, yeah. games, and other things. The only area that will be slower than the iPad is games. Yeah. You'll be able to play faster, richer games on the iPad than you'd be able to play on this device. But the cost is 15 times, 10 yeah. times. Yeah. For that price difference, if you can afford that price difference, and if that price difference doesn't make sense to you, mm -hmm. then you should buy the iPad. It's a lot more prestigious. It is a much bigger brand. But if price and value are important to you, good web access, good multimedia is important to you, then the UV Slate 7 Plus, in my opinion, is a better product at one-tenth the price. Of course. So, let me tell you about delayed deliveries. When you go from an expectation of 100,000 units over a year to sitting on a demand of 2 million individual end-user pre-bookings, you will end up disappointing a lot of users. So, unfortunately, even though we're trying to ramp up through multiples of manufacturing facilities, not every demand will be satisfied in a reasonable period of time. Prior to the launch, we had only two people taking toll-free support calls because we would at best have 10 calls a day. Today, we have 10 to 12,000 calls a day of people interested in the product. We are trying to expand. We are working with companies with which we can outsource that role to. And hopefully we will be able to meet up the demand. But right now we're playing a catch-up game with those. Uh, let, let me uh, answer it in two ways. I think that most people that will use it will be very happy with the product. Okay. Okay? And uh, afterwards I can demonstrate product and its features and functionality mm -hmm. and I'm sure you'll agree that yeah. what it does it does well it doesn't mean that every user 
will be satisfied with it. If you've been using an iPad for six months, then you may not be satisfied with it. Mm -hmm. But for the majority of users that we're going after, an iPad is not an option. For those users, this is a fantastic product, and I think that those users will be very pleased with this. Let me tell you about the Nano. There's a big difference. With the Nano and the price point of the Nano, there are other options. You can spend 20% more than the Nano and buy a used car. If you don't want to do take advantage of the Nano, you can still get a bike for one third the price. The Nano is still three times the price of a bike. Here, there's nothing in this price point. There is no smartphone of a four inch, three inch screen of even double this price point, let alone a tablet in that price range, uh, let alone a tablet with Wi-Fi and GPRS in that price point. So price is very important and the reaction to that is very strong, but it's not just price, the areas of performance we focused on, this product will do a great user experience in those areas. Okay. Web on a mobile GPRS network, multimedia HD quality video, and then the basic apps that work in that Android environment. Our tender that we won was only for one lakh units, okay. which at that time was a big deal for us, was, was a very large order, because if we expected to do 100,000 units in a full year, that single order for 100,000 units mm -hmm. uh, was, was fantastic. Uh, that's the only order we have to date. Uh, we are led to believe that the next tender will be out within the next um, uh, month or two okay. uh, for a million or two million units. We will bid on it as will others. We're working with a variety of governments. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, MVNO uh, virtual operator relationships in, in a number of different countries. Right now we're focused on supplying the Indian demand but we expect to have launched a number of international markets uh, within the next six months. We have an office in China. We manufacture some of our products mm -hmm. in China. Um, we've not yet sold product in China, uh, but we will certainly consider that over time. We expect to launch in our core market, which is the UK this year, okay. and the US market this year. Okay. So, so we will not just be focused on the Indian market. The UK and the US markets are also very important. Uh, the, the feature set will be a little different. And since the feature set will be different, the prices will be dependent on the feature set. Uh, the device that we will sell in the US will carry an EVDO modem okay. uh, on the CDMA networks. And that raises the price uh, to some degree. Uh, because we are a virtual operator and MVNO in the US, we bundle internet access with the device. So we provide the device with free mobile internet. So uh, the expectation is that that we will be able to uh, deliver a very competitively priced product in the US, mm -hmm. um, but it may have a number of key differences over the Indian version.